surface areas and volumes we have started the topic conversion of solid from one shape to another here the point is if we recast one 3d figure into some other 3d figure uh, in different way you can reshape it however it is the volume will remain unchanged that's a point if you recast one 3d figure into two other 3d figure some of the volumes of the two new 3d figures will be same as the old one so that's a concept here i explained in detail in the last video if you didn't watch that video you can get that video from the description i have given link to the playlist of chapter number 13 surface areas and volumes in the description also the videos of other chapters you can find out from the links in the description if you didn't subscribe my channel please consider subscribing and also if you like this video please share this video to your friends we move to next question in the same topic question is like this a hemispherical tank full of water a hemispherical tank full of water is emptied by a pipe at the rate of 3 4 by 7 liters per second how much time time will it take to empty half the tank if it is 3 meter in diameter okay there is a tank in this shape of a hemisphere a tank in the shape of a hemisphere and it is diameter is 1 diameter is 3 meter so radius will be 3 by 2 3 by 2 radius and uh, from this tank water it is emptying some pump is given and it is emptying to some other place that is not uh, the, the second figure is not given so water is emptying from this tank <laughs> at some rate rate is given 3 4 by 7 liters per second 3 4 by 7 liters will be pumped in each second okay that's the rate of pumping okay uh, uh, how much time will it take to empty half the tank so how can we calculate the time in one second 3.47 liters will be pumped how we can calculate diameter is given volume of the tank uh, find the volume of the tank then find the volume of the tank find how much liter will be there in the tank yes find how much liter will be there, there. and we are emptying only half the tank then take half the volume right half the volume and divide by this rate volume divided by half the rate what volume of the half tank you take in liters then divide by this rate so you will get to that time in one second three four by seven liter will go so the total volume of the half the tank in liters you divide by the rate you will get the uh, time taken in in, uh, in seconds okay we can discuss here so look here radius of the hemispherical tank that is given that three by two meter diameter is given three so the radius will be three by two meter so the volume of the tank will be now we have the formula uh, 2 by 3 pi r cube so 2 by 3 into pi can be taken as 2, 22 by 7 into r 3 by 2 cube meter cube so simplifying this you will get 99 by 14 meter cube and the volume of the water to be emptied so we don't have to find, take the full volume we need only half the volume half the a volume of the hemisphere is emptied so half of 99 by 14 full volume is 99 by 14 so half of 99 by 14 you take so that will be 99 by 28 and we want to convert into liter so what is the relation one meter cube is equal to how many this, this should be noted one meter cube is equal to how many liters thousand right one meter cube is equal to thousand liter so this should be noted 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liter what is 1000 centimeter cube what is 1000 centimeter cube how many liters 1 liter 1 liter okay this two you please note it 
you may have to apply in some questions. One meter cube is equal to thousand liter, and thousand centimeter cube is equal to one liter. Okay, so uh, we continue. So we got the the am amount of water, the amount of water in half the hemispherical tank is ninety nine by twenty eight into thousand liter. So if you simplify this, you will get it. 99,000 by 28 liter. So to find the number of seconds needed to uh, to pump this one, this amount of water. So simply divide by the rate of uh, rate of pumping. That is 25 by 7 liters per second. So dividing this by this fraction. So you uh, so given that is three four by seven, right? So this is a mixed fraction. You convert to proper fraction. Seven into three, twenty-one. Seven into three is twenty-one plus four. That will be twenty-five by same denominator, right? Okay, okay, sir. You know this, right? Converting mixed fraction to proper fraction. Okay. So we want to divide this fraction by this fraction. So if you divide a fraction by some other fraction, it is enough to multiply by the reciprocal of the second. So that will be in the uh, into ninety nine thousand by twenty eight into this second one. You take reciprocal seven by twenty five and multiply. So twenty eight and seven can be cancelled four times. And simplify. Finally, you will get to sixteen point five minutes. Sixteen uh, some seconds. Uh, this will be we will get in seconds, and then we can convert to minutes. You know the relation, right? One minute is equal to sixty seconds. If you get the answer in seconds, you divide by sixty, you will get in minutes. Okay, so that's answer. We will do some more questions, some more exercise from three point three. I hope the answer is clear. If you like this video, please don't forget to press the like button and also share this video to your friends. To get more videos like this of the same chapter or other chapters of class ten CBC mathematics. Please check in the description of this video. I have given the links to playlist of other chapters and this chapter in the description. In the next videos, we will discuss some of very important questions from the same topic: conversion of solids from one shape to another. Until then, bye.